Good morning, everybody. Mark Finan here in the home weather office on this 24th day of August 2023. This is the morning briefing coming to you from my home weather office, where as I look out the window, it is a beautiful morning. It, temperatures are warm, but not too hot, and we have nothing but blue sky. A few things to talk about today. It is going to be a warm day. I think most areas will stay under 100, so we'll be waiting on the Delta breeze. And there are some areas that could see some thunderstorms today. And we'll also be talking about when we may be seeing some heat return. Even though we only have a, a week left in our second hottest month of the year, we uh, still can see some heat into the month of September. And right now the models are indicating that that may be happening. So let me show you what's happening this morning. Good looking satellite. A couple of things to point out. One, we have some marine layers starting to rebuild here in the Bay Area. We did not see that yesterday. So that is starting to come, and the Delta Breeze will be on the way later on today. So this is an indication that there is some cooler air coming. But a few other things going on, too. We also have a bit of uh, the monsoon starting to stream up here across uh, the southern Sierra and through the Tehachapi's. We'll have to keep an eye on that. And then the other feature up here is the, the smoke coming off the, the big fires that are burning in California. Now, this is the biggest right in here. Uh, this is in Del Norte County. Uh, the Smith River Complex, last time I checked, it was around 47,000 acres and growing. And you can also see there's a lot of smoke here into to Oregon. Some of that smoke is getting entrained and going off the coast. Uh, we are going to see a general southwesterly flow pick up over the next couple of days, helping to keep that smoke out of the Central Valley in Southern California and the Sierra. So I'll show you that here in a second. But the other interesting thing is that the models are picking up on a thunderstorm that may go through that area later on today. This has been really interesting for such a small feature that the models have been very consistent for the last 24 hours in showing this little feature. Let me show you that. So this is the HRRR. And as we go through the day today, this is around one o'clock in the afternoon. And then look at this. This is at four. This is five o'clock. For such a small feature, all of the models have been picking up on this. And because of that, yesterday, the National Weather Service issued a red flag warning for this area uh, because of lightning. Um, and I, I saw that and I thought, wow, that's 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 kind of odd. And then I, as I started looking more of the models, a lot of the models just were picking up this very small feature. So that's 5 o'clock this evening, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, and then it dissipates. Although we also I mentioned that monsoon moisture that is currently coming up. We may see some of that feature into some of the areas up on the Northeast Plateau, maybe eastern Lassen County, and certainly northeast of Reno. We may see some thunderstorm activity, and that's tonight. But otherwise, on the west slope, areas like Tahoe, down 395, down toward Mammoth, Bodie, I think we're going to be fine, and of course, same thing in the Central Valley. But yeah, it's it's really interesting. This is a this is a like one small thunderstorm, and the models are all picking up on it. So that's the H triple R. Let me show you the Nam Nest. It's it's basically showing the same thing. One small thunderstorm, just boop right there, about the same time, same location, which is really unusual. Um, so yeah, so that's. That's what's happening in the northern part of the state. We'll see what sort of impact that has on uh, on the fire itself, because as you um, as you get some uh, wind on a fire, that's not necessarily a good thing. I mean, you look at it and think, oh, they'll get some rain on that on that fire. Well, it's not the rain that they're they're looking at so much. They're looking more at the um, at the outflow winds that could make for really erratic behavior, and of course, any more lightning could cause more fires. Showing you the wind here, this is the wind first thing in the morning, hardly anything going. Um, if you look at the scale here, these blue shades and these white shades are down here at the bottom of the scale. So there's no wind blowing first thing this morning in the valley. And let's go up here and go ahead a couple of frames. This is at uh, 2 o'clock this afternoon. You'll notice that the wind is starting to turn onshore. It may be tough to see these, uh, these little wind arrows, but with the wind starting to pick up onshore. Also starting to get a little breezy in the Southern Sierra. Uh, I doubt anybody who's watching right now is climbing Mount Whitney today, <laughs> but if you are, it'll be getting a little gusty up on top. And then uh, so that's like I said, two o'clock in the afternoon. And then this next frame shows the strong Delta breeze. This is five o'clock. So yeah, it'll turn windy this afternoon in Fairfield and Rio Vista, as well as around uh, Lodi and Galt. Also a little bit of wind farther to the south, down toward Patterson. Maybe a little crosswind if you're driving I-5. 
but that's going to be bringing in the onshore breeze. So that's helping to cool things off. And so while we'll have a warm day with temperatures in the mid to upper 90s, we'll see really good cooling as we head into the night tonight. And that'll set the stage for some slightly cooler days. All right, let's take a look at the big picture and look down the road and show you what it is we are expecting. So there's probably going to be just a little bit of energy that is coming around this trough right here that's going to be touching off that thunderstorm this afternoon in the Sierra that I mentioned on the shorter range models, as well as helping to kick, a, kick up the Delta breeze. And this overall flow, you notice the wind out of the southwest. I mentioned the fire that is burning here, the fires that are burning here in the northeast, uh, northwestern corner of the state. Southwesterly flow will generally be keeping all of that smoke out of our area. And while this is a, um, a nice pattern for us, it's not going to necessarily be cool. This is Friday afternoon. Uh, temperatures will still be in the mid-90s. And through the weekend, we're looking at mid to upper 90s in the valley. This is Sunday afternoon and Monday. Monday, we might be in the upper 90s. Uh, again, as this ridge takes hold. And then as this, this little trough goes by on Tuesday, we'll likely see a return of some onshore. But this is really interesting. Trough going by to the north. Look at that high kind of swashed down to our south. But as soon as this thing exits, that ridge will rebuild. So there goes the trough. This is next Wednesday morning. And beyond that, this is on Thursday the high rebuilds. We have a trough here, trough here. We're in between, which means we're likely going to heat up. This is um, this is Friday, so this is the first day of September. And then this is early September, big ridging here on the west. And that's why I say September may get off to a hot start. Of course, I don't have a lot of faith in models that far out, but uh, we always kind of, you know, keep an eye on them to see, you know, what might be happening down the road 10 days. And if the models consistently show that by the time it gets to the range of day six or seven, then we have more confidence that that's actually going to be happening. So that's kind of what we're looking at down the road is, yeah, early September, we may see, you know, a little bit of a heat wave, maybe not as bad as last year's September heat wave, but, but uh, still we'll kind of keep an eye on some potential heat for early September. In the meantime, nice day today, warm through the middle part of the day. The Delta breeze coming up in the afternoon should be very nice tonight. And, um, and also that overall flow will not only be helping to keep temperatures from getting too hot the next couple of days, but it'll also keep the air quality good. While we do have a lot of smoke in the northern part of the state, it does look as though that will continue to be moving off to the north. So that's everything I've got for you this morning. I'll be in the office this afternoon to do the news from 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, and 11. And because it's Thursday, I'll also be on Facebook live at 8 o'clock so I can answer any of your questions questions about the weather as we head toward the weekend. So make it a great day. I'll talk with you later.